briefly review the meeting logistics. If you're joining remotely, please indicate your name on your screen. Uh, anyone speaking, start by stating your name and where you live. And uh, I think that's all I need to say for right now. Um, Next item on the agenda is to approve the agenda. Are there any changes anyone would request to the agenda? Okay. Next up on the agenda is general business and appearances. This is an opportunity for a member of the public to address the council on an item that is not on today's agenda. I do not see any member of the public, so I think we can, uh, dispense with that and move right to the consent agenda which i don't think that we have because i don't i don't know if state street at night paving project is considered consent as consent agenda item but let's just take that up right now and so bill do you want to start off or who's starting it off? i'm gonna i'm gonna hand this right off to kurt and zach uh, whichever <laughs> whoever wants to explain it um so, sure, yeah. I'm Kurt, or you want me to? Yeah, I'm happy to kick it off. Um, <clears throat> so as you know, we have the uh, State Street sewer and drainage project taking place. Um, started at the DMV and is almost up to the Taylor Street and State Street intersection now. And in that location, there are um, both a water and a sewer pipe that need to cross State Street uh, in order to um, complete the separation project and the sewer and the sewer connection. Uh, and it's fairly, the crossing is fairly deep and there's a lot of utilities that need to be crossed, existing utilities such as the water main. Um, so it is a, um, a tricky uh, portion of the project. And in addition to that, uh, there's the state paving um, project is also underway. Uh, right now they're working on Bailey Avenue, which is, um, you know, the logical detour route for this if we were to do a daytime closure. Um, and they're doing um, daytime work on the state project currently. We will be coming to council to talk about night work for that project as well um, at the next meeting. Um, so the, the request is to allow the contractor to um, do these two road crossings uh, at night next week. There'll be a one night request to waive the noise ordinance for that work and to also allow for a closure of State Street. And then we would detour them around um, to Bailey Avenue because the state paving project is not currently taking place at night. So that is the, the request. I did reach out to uh, Pepper Share with the Plaza and let them know that, um, that we're having this meeting today. They actually indicated that they were going to attend. I also sent them a link, um, but I do not see them on the, on the Zoom meeting here. So. Just wanted to throw that out that they're the um, probably the property owner that's going to be greatest impacted by this request and so on to make sure that they're aware of the meeting um, so perhaps they decided not, not to attend after all but um so yeah that's that's essentially it i'm happy to answer any questions or that can do um thanks kurt uh, what time um would this start would it be like after the uh close of, of business uh traffic right i believe it's um six o'clock 6 p.m would be the start okay any other members of the council have any questions um what, yeah, what's the ahead. total time frame is it is it um 6 p.m to to start time the next morning or is it all night long or or what yeah 6 p.m uh to 6 a.m yeah 12 hours and then they would take the day off uh, that next day and not do any daytime work to catch back up on their sleep. Mm -hmm. Here comes Brian Keene now. Uh. And uh, just what, how many how many days are we ex anticipating? They've only requested one night. One night. They're going to they're, they're run two crews, one to do the sewer work and one to do the stormwater work simultaneously so that we don't need two nights worth of closure. Cool. And the intent is that they would do all of the loud noises, like concrete cutting, sawing, uh, asphalt removal, um, and then bringing in material before 11 p.m., the stuff that would impact um, people staying at the hotel. 
Uh, and then once once all that stuff is done after 11 p.m., they're on to like actually just installing the pipe stuff that is not loud in, in nature or very loud in nature, I guess. And uh, how much uh, advance notice do you think it'll be possible to give people? Um, I'm thinking probably at least three days, Jack. Um, right now we're at a tricky point where we have to tie the existing sewer into the structure in the center of Taylor Street. And then once that occurs, um, they're able to flop the sewer over to the new line and then cut the old line out of the way. So um, it's, a, it's a little bit, that's why we kind of wrote it a little bit vague um, because we're just not exactly sure the very specific day, but I'm hoping by the end of this week, we could have a, a good, like an option one um, if we were to do the night work and then like a, a backup option in case um, they're in, they run into any other snags before getting to that, that work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, any other questions for any members of the council? Um, any questions for any members of the public? Uh, yeah, this is Brian Kane, the director of sales at Capital Plaza. I apologize for being a few minutes late. Um, and so, I, Zach, I think I missed some of that uh, in the sense of what the timing looked like. Um, I could also <clears throat> kind of share with you what it looks like for us as a hotel, um, if this is the appropriate time to do that. Yes, it would be. Okay. So <laughs> even pre-COVID, um, if you take away sleep, showers, or televisions for a hotel guest, um, they turn kind of um, nasty. Um, Post-COVID, uh, multiply that times three. Um, and so... Um, we we even um, and I and I think the communication from you guys has been wonderful. The communication from this uh, construction company has been wonderful, and we haven't had a single complaint on any of the sound daytime, even it starting at you know seven thirty in the morning. So I'm very appreciative of uh, of us being informed on that. Um, this one I think would uh, would get us absolutely peppered. Um, on that night and what that looks like. And I was just sharing this with Kurt through an email about an hour ago is that um, people aren't comfortable um, it until a refund happens. And so um, a nighttime situation with all that noise and all of that um, turns into probably 20 plus uh, hotel reservations that come down and demand uh, refunds and um, no charges for those particular nights. Um, on top of that, it is, uh, it's a really, really tough situation for our front desk crew. Um, and <clears throat> the possibility of saying we don't have control of this and this has to happen um, again, if somebody doesn't get sleep, um, they don't care. Um, they haven't had the, they haven't been informed. And even if we have a sign at the front desk um, saying this is going to happen tonight, um, that uh, that doesn't soften soften the ugliness of uh, of the next morning. So um, we obviously know the work has to happen. Um, and um, but I, you know, as as a person, and, and I've looked at my occupancy. The whole week, it's between 60 and 100%. Um, and so we are now 84 rooms. So you're talking, at the least, you're talking 50 rooms um, on the smallest day uh, for that. So um, so that's that's kind of where we stand. So are you asking us to do anything about that or just pointing it out that that's going to have an impact on you? Oh no! I would certainly ask to not go through the uh, to to not approve the the nighttime um, dig, and if there's the possibility of detouring people around for that uh, for that period of time that you've got across, uh, you've what whatever needs to happen. Um, I think it would <clears throat> it's it's certainly preferred on our end of things. Um, uh, as two other examples, uh, we get peppered with plowing, and we get peppered with. Um, um, the church bells. Um, so um, that's that's just the nature of the traveler these days. Gary, and then Donna. 
Yeah, thank you. Sorry, I was a couple minutes late also, so I may have missed um, the full explanation in the beginning, but what would be the, I see in the memo, it says that if we, if it, the work happened during the day, it would take longer. Um, any sense of how much longer it would take if we did it during the day? Yeah, Kurt and I talked about this. We're thinking it would require about four days worth of work. And the biggest thing right now that we're seeing is if we detour around and put them on to Taylor and then Bailey Avenue, I envision that we're gonna have more complaints um, just because of the state project. You're gonna have this huge influx of traffic that's trying to get over the bridge. And if you've been traveling over Bailey Ave and onto State Street, it's been congested already uh, with the start of construction. So um, there's just some observations that we have, have had and seen um, about you know, this particular work that we need to do. Uh, Donna. I just wondered, uh, Brian, if there was any night of the week that was a little less busy for you, would that make any difference? It does. Um, so let's see. I'm just looking at a schedule. So it's and, and Kurt, you may not have any flexibility on this, but it might be worth finding out what day would work better. Smallest, op uh, smallest occupancy typically is Sunday night, um, but uh, that probably doesn't help the construction crew. Um, and if... I mean, I'd have to do a little bit of research on what the occupancy is. We can move people to the back of the building, but um, also we have um, suites and um, about 50 rooms that face that exact corner um, overlooking the state house lawn. So um, there's never a time that it's a perfect world on to be able to say that, but to answer your question, Sunday night um, is really the only time that we're, that we're slower. Um, okay, thank you. Uh, Sal. Uh, how much leeway is there in the um, the time frame between 6 and 11 when this noisiest work will be done? Is that a generous period of time to do the, the cutting, the loud uh, cutting, or is it um, is it tight in your estimation? Um. It aligns with the amount of time that it's taken them so far to do the same type of cutting and asphalt and concrete removal. Mm. Um, one thought in my mind that I'm kind of just running through different scenarios is maybe we have a little bit of an even earlier start than six, let them start cutting asphalt, get things moving so that it's not like six o'clock comes and starts and then by, they're not cutting anything till seven or 7.30. Maybe we can bump that up so that when six o'clock hits, they are hitting the ground fully on a full sprint um, so that we can get in and out with the loud noises quicker. Um, but I think six hours is pretty generous for what they need to do. Um, the difference and Zach, at the 11 o'clock, what, um, what, what, that was the part that I missed that I kind of wanted to hear again. What, um, what's the work after 11 o'clock and what's the noise factor, do you think? Yeah, so once they're once they're able to get the asphalt out, the concrete out, and then the existing sewer out of the way, then they're putting in new pipes and they're just moving material around. So there's a lot less uh, loud noises with dump trucks backing in, tailgates slamming, uh, the concrete saws. It's a lot. It's way more about just placing pipes in there. So that at that point, it's not as loud. I'm not going to say that it's, there's no noise because that's not accurate, but um, we're hopeful that we can get all of like the, the heavy loud noises activities done so that it's not impacting um, the people that are staying at the Capitol Plaza. And then on the back side of that, when you're doing fill, you've got everything into the ground and all of that stuff. And now I'm picturing um, big dump trucks with that slam. Um, when would it look like that would be happening? So we, I'm asking them to bring in all the material ahead of time so that they're know that when they're done installing pipe that they don't have to keep bringing in additional material. They can stockpile it on site. It's also some of the benefit of having a closure. You have more area to play with so that they can bring in all that material ahead of schedule, have it ready to go so that when they get to that phase, they shouldn't have to have as much, they shouldn't really have a backing up of trucks and you know slamming the tailgates on the early on the early morning side. And once once they get across the conflicts, 
uh, they can kind of stop and then they can resume work at during the daytime again. Um, so the big thing is they need to get under this two telecommunications lines that they need to get underneath and then they get need to get over the water main. And um, those are, it's tricky when you're digging above and underneath utilities and you can't touch them. So you kind of have to thread the needle in between. Does the bulldoze, the bulldozer still has the backed up sound though, right? So if it's, uh, if it's grabbing fill and doing all of that stuff. Uh, I don't believe, I guess if they were to put it in reverse, yes. Um, the roller probably does not have a backup beeper on it. Uh, their plate compactors would not, their jumping jacks would not. Uh, and they're not, they don't have a bulldozer specifically on site. So, um, Kurt, do you know if excavators have backup beepers? on them yeah i believe they do okay that would be the probably the only piece of equipment that would have a beeper on it um, and is, there, is there a preferred date for you guys not really i mean i i in my opinion it's about um making as le the least amount of impact to the capital plaza as we can while also trying to get the work done so if there's a date that works best with you guys i have no i have no issue trying to um align that their work with with that date um if that helps anything so is the that sunday the 21st a possibility i can go ask them right after this um it'll be dependent on how much work that they can get done and if there's they've set themselves up for it um otherwise then the next date would be the 8th the 28th um and i would just need to check to make sure that they had uh, good activities to do between the 22nd and 26th, but yeah, tw I, I mean, 28th, that's holiday. That's a holiday. Oh, yeah. Nope. Okay. I was just looking straight down on the Sunday column. I wasn't thinking uh, Memorial Day. So. so, I mean, if, if it had to happen and, and we'd prefer for it not to, but I mean, we've got to be flexible would be either 21 or 22. Okay. Any anything else from members of the council or anybody else? Kurt, now that you've got my email, can you just um, send the follow up stuff to me um, as as Zach gets those details? Yep. Sure. I'd be happy to do that. Thank you. Okay. Is somebody Donna? I just want to say to both Brian, thank you for working with us and for Zach and, and Kurt really trying to work and make it f feasible to get the work done, but also accountable to that we have people who have situations that need to sleep. Uh, and it's a business. It's not just my home. If anybody so, wants to come work the front desk that morning, <laughs> I can accommodate that. Yeah, you trust me? Okay, okay. Bill. It's not that. <laughs> Okay, I, uh, I'm, Brian, I, I'm well trained in taking complaints. <laughs> <laughs> Probably my best uh, skill. Yeah. So you want a motion? Yes, please. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the variance. Uh, hopefully, it'll be the 21st, a Sunday. Is there a second? Evening. Second. Uh, any discussion? I yes. would. I would encourage you to to uh, do what you suggested about trying to get uh, an early start on the on the cutting, you know, the the loud cutting and um, uh, the, all that work that you thought you would hope to get done by eleven. Maybe you can get it done a little bit earlier. Absolutely. Uh, just as in some insurance, yeah. Thanks. Okay. Any further discussion from the council? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay. In that case, we have uh, the motion is passed. And I think that is it for our agenda. I don't think we have other business council reports, mayor's reports, clerk's report, or manager's report, unless someone wants to uh, stay longer. Uh, no other than just continue to urge uh, Zach and Kurt and Brian to stay in contact and figure out the best way to get through this.
Yeah. Yeah. that. Yeah, I think we all. Brian, you know, thanks. You guys have always been great partners, and we will try to do the best we can here. We, you know, nobody likes this kind of stuff. Okay. See you Monday morning, Bill. I agree. <laughs> I, I think we all appreciate the importance of Capitol Plaza to downtown and vital uh, part of the community. And we can adjourn at 1221 p.m. <laughs>